What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you my day one progression, my power level, the exotics I got, crazy exotics and a few other bits and bobs found yesterday within a Black Armour DLC. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, I would like to show you support you can by smashing that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's start with my power level after one day. I am currently sitting at a power level of 613 as far as I know. I am the highest in the world, well, when this video was being created, but no doubt these big old streamers who just farm, farm, farm all night, 24 hours a day, are gonna overtake me pretty easily. Now, the way I got uh, this high, so quick. I mean, obviously I've done my standard weekly bounty stuff, which offers that reset, but I also stacked many, many bounties from before the Black Armory drops, like Gambit, Powerful Reward Bounties, Hawthorne, Ikora, Flashpoints. I had Iron Banner, six Iron Banners, I had quite a few. The video actually of me opening them all I dropped yesterday via YouTube if you do want to check it out. But yes guys, so basically that's how I am a 613 at the minute. I've still got one or two things to do. I was basically leveling up so I could do the forge and get that one weapon which is a part of the quest, a heavy machine gun. I believe that drops as a powerful weapon too. Hopefully it helps me increase my overall power level. But besides that, I don't think there's much else I can do. Obviously when you do complete the forge for the first time, Time, you open a whole host of things via add a one within the tower but I haven't got that far yet so I will keep you updated so yes guys at the minute I'm a 612 so I've got a few things to do I'll probably end the week at about a 614 if I am lucky that is for damn sure now yesterday was a very good day for me very good day indeed I got four new exotics within one four people four 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 people Four exotics within one day, what is going on? Before the Black Army dropped, I hadn't had an exotic in about a month. No exotic for a month, four in one day? Have they buffed exotic drops? I don't know. But the ones I got were, I got an old one, which was the Merciless Fusion Rifle. I got the Lord of Wolves from a bounty. And I also got a Black Talon from a bounty. I actually got those via my opening video and you guys will see my reaction on screen now. Did those get the message? I just got exotic! <laughs> what? What level are you? Lovely getting there. Uh, so. <laughs> yes! I don't care if it's slower, but I've got it! I've finally got it, people! Okay, so we've got one more here. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's two new exotics I've got. What game? What? What? I don't need you no more, that's for sure. Yes, I know I sound like a 12 year old kid from my top five reactions, but people, when you had an exotic in so long and one drops, it pops up on your screen. You're like, what? What? And then I was playing last night, just messing around in a strike, doing my daily uh, shit, you know how it goes. And I got the Trinity Ghoul pop up, and my reaction was exactly the same. So yes guys, four exotics within a single day. I do not know what is going on, but yes, hopefully today I get the same luck. I was actually doing a nightfall last night with my brother. You guys would probably have seen that nightfall exploit video where you can literally get simple powerful rewards. If you haven't seen that, do check out my channel. The latest video besides this one I posted. What it basically allows you to do is Max out the score multiplayer within the Nightfall 100 craze strike via your scorecard and it actually doesn't change anything. You're still going into it like a it's like a strike, you just run through it like a normal strike. It's really, really easy. I do recommend you checking it out. But I was doing that last night with my brother and he got two exotics drop. Two exotics drop on the floor from the same damn Nightfall 
Actually, excuse me, no, it wasn't. It was two from two because we started the first one and we backed out because I put on the wrong modifier and started it up again. And he got two exotics from two nightfalls, but literally it was like one and a half runs, if for that. I mean, like, really get him. So, exotics, in my opinion, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've been buffed the way they drop. I mean, let me know how many you've had. Have you had any new ones? Let me know down below within that comment section, people. And to be honest, that's about it. There ain't much to do with the Black Armour, in my opinion. I mean, I'm going to make a video on it later, reviewing it, giving you guys my honest opinion on what we have. I mean, I know we've got the Mysterious Box, which is found within the Valandor Forge. If you haven't seen that also, uh, you can check out a video I posted on that on my channel. Uh, basically, it's the start of an exotic quest where you pick it up from a loot cave and you have to go out and find keys. I believe these keys are rewarded for each individual forge. There's four forges, there's four keys, so we will see people we will see it just another time get to the exotic quest you guys know how it goes and also i was informed that galad found a new puzzle uh i've only seen a picture of it which i'll show you guys on screen now if you don't know who glad is you're basically missing out on one of the best pve uh destiny players out there so do check him out, people. So, yes, he found this actual maze. I don't think it's been solved yet. Well, it hasn't been at the time of me making this video. But it, what could it lead to? Could it lead to one of the new four exotics we're getting? Because we are getting five new exotics so far we know about. There's the Arm Blaster. There's the Bow. There's the Izanagu's Bird and Sniper Rifle. There is the Fallen Looking Grenade Mine Launcher. And there's also the Last Word. But we know the Last Word is part of a quest, which comes January. We know there is one hide behind this. Well, we don't know there's one hide behind this mysterious box but i'm pretty sure there is one hidden behind this mysterious box so there's two but there's three others in the game are they in the loot pool i don't think anyone's got any yet so they're probably all tied behind exotic quest lines but we will see people we will see but for me i've had an amazing day one so far in terms of loot drops and leveling up when it comes to actually black army content it's been far from amazing but you guys will get my view on this later on today day people but guys let me know how your day ones have gone thanks as always for stopping by if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really does help out if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one